guys welcome back to my channel this is chandani hope you guys are doing well it's september 2024 and i'm back home in guyana but guess what i have so much more videos to put out on new york city we did a lot of sightseeing and i just couldn't give it to you within that period i was there so i'm working on them one by one just to put it out for you and today i'm taking you to one of new york's main historic symbols can you guess what it is yes it's the brooklyn bridge and today we're walking across the entire bridge we subwayed to clark street then we got onto henry street where we walked a couple of minutes to the brooklyn bridge and we're going to show you all that in this video so let's get straight into it so we are headed to the brooklyn bridge we're going to walk across the brooklyn bridge and the train is approaching where we're going to catch that train to get to the brooklyn bridge it's coming very slowly. Train number two. Oh, smart, smart. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Right, so we're catching this train and there we go. Get off. So we just came out of the train, that's the number two train we took and we are at Clark Street now and we're still in the subway. We took the really big elevator you see there to get up and then we're going to get out and start walking towards the Brooklyn Bridge. So we just stopped at Clark Street and we're now going out to get to the Brooklyn Bridge. So we took a left onto Henry Street and we're going to walk a couple of minutes before we get to the Brooklyn Bridge. So after walking the Brooklyn Bridge, there's still activities you can do around there and it depends on which side you're getting off. So if you're getting off from Manhattan side, there is South Street Seaport, you can visit there. You can visit Pier 17. There is the One World Observatory. There is um, Brookfield Place. There's 9-11 Memorial and Museum as well. Then there's Battery Park. We went around Battery Park when we were going to Statue of Liberty. I still have that video to show you as well. Then there's the Hudson River Park. And if you are coming off on the Brooklyn side, that's the other side. There is the, well, of course, the Brooklyn Bridge Park. That's the park right around there. There is the Time Out Market rooftop. There is the Brooklyn Heights Promenade. There is Manhattan uh, Bridge Photo Stop. You can stop to get some beautiful pictures around that area. And the Dumbo area. I will tell you about the Dumbo area when we get on the bridge itself. And then there is the Manhattan Bridge Walk as well. So luckily for us, the weather held up. It was raining a lot whilst we were in the train. It started raining when we got the bus and then we went into the train. So we were hoping that when we come off the train to walk to the Brooklyn Bridge, the rain would stop and it did indeed. So we had great weather to walk the entire bridge. I hope you guys are enjoying all the videos I'm putting out of New York City, our trip to New York City this year, August, 2024. I hope you're enjoying every bit of it. Uh, like I said um, in my last video, our vacation is almost up, but we are having a good time and soon is back home. And we're heading to the Brooklyn Bridge, which is all the way there. So the Brooklyn Bridge sees around 116,000 vehicles, 30,000 passengers and 3,000 cyclists cross each day and over 42 million vehicles 
11 million pedestrians and 1 million cyclists annually. And when it first opened, farm animals were allowed to cross at a price of 5 cents per cow and 2 cents per sheep or hog. So you see the sign that says Brooklyn Bridge Walkway and it's up ahead. about to walk the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you see Brooklyn Bridge Park, 1,475 feet. People are walking here. Let's take a look at the round. You see in all the big buildings. So those tall buildings you see in the horizon, that is Manhattan. And the Brooklyn Bridge is one of New York's main historic symbols. It is also a fundamental part of the city's infrastructure as it crossed the East River, connecting Manhattan and Brooklyn. Brooklyn being on the other side we came from, Manhattan is in front of you there. Brooklyn Bridge and a few other bridges whilst we were going to Woodbury Mall. I'll show you that video in the future. But we passed it and now I'm walking over the Brooklyn Bridge. So this area here is called Dumbo as in D-U-M-B-O and it's an acronym for Dung Under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass and it's a neighborhood in the New York City borough of Brooklyn. It has two sections, one situated between the Manhattan and Brooklyn bridges, and it connects Brooklyn to Manhattan across the East River, and another extending eastward from the Manhattan Bridge to the Vinegar Hill area. And the neighborhood is bounded by Brooklyn Bridge Park to the north, and the Brooklyn Bridge to the west and Brooklyn Heights to the south and Vinegar Hill to the east. And Dumbo is part of Brooklyn Community Board 2. And just look at that. Look at there. So the Brooklyn Bridge was designed to avoid the problems that boats crossing the river faced when it was frozen during the winter months. When it was built, Brooklyn and Manhattan were still independent cities. So the Brooklyn Bridge was the first steel wire suspension bridge and at that time it was built 
its 1,595 feet main span made it the longest suspension bridge in the world. In 1903, the neighboring Williamsburg Bridge broke that record by 4.5 feet. So after 14 years of construction that cost $15 million, and this is 15 million US dollars, the Brooklyn Bridge was opened in 1883, and Manhattan and Brooklyn were finally connected. And it took over 600 workers to transform 6,740 tons of material into the iconic wonder of the Industrial Revolution. The bridge is supported by four cables each, 3,578 feet long, 15.5 inches thick, and made up of 21,000 individual wires. So currently in Guyana, our new Demerara Harbor Bridge is being built. It's a four-lane high-span cable stay structure across the Demerara River. It's going to run from Region 3 to Region 4. And this is the picture I'm getting as I'm walking on the Brooklyn Bridge. This is a picture of what it's going to look like somewhat. And I just wanted to bring that up so you guys can get an idea of what our Demerara Harbor Bridge is going to be. So it was quite an experience walking over the Brooklyn Bridge and there were lots of people crossing back and forth as well coming from Manhattan and people coming from Brooklyn too passing each other but this is one of New York City's attractions and must do things you must do when you come to New York City and put it on your bucket list it's really lovely especially at sunset you can actually see the silhouette of Manhattan right there and it looks really beautiful and it's just lovely to see everybody stopping and taking pictures also I forgot to mention the Manhattan Bridge right across there I keep looking at it and say I'm gonna point it out but that is the Manhattan Bridge and there were a few bridges along the way when I was going to Woodbury Mall that was upstate we passed a few bridges well and I'm gonna show you all that in the video when I put it out Woodbury video and I try my best to pinpoint every one of the bridges we pass and hopefully I get the names correct but yes that's the Manhattan uh, bridge as well and this is the Brooklyn Bridge and we're still halfway through and I'm gonna get to the other side and the other side is Manhattan no 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 there's the other half to go
Yes. Right, erected by the cities of New York and Brooklyn. So the Brooklyn Bridge has been featured in lots and lots of movies and they do have famous ones. Can you guys list five movies in the comments in which the Brooklyn Bridge was featured? I'll just give you two and two of them are my favorite movies. So the first one is I Am Legend. I really love that movie. And the other one is Godzilla. That's another one. So I'm just going to give you two. List five of them. Let me see what they are. Beautiful that looks. Yeah. I just saw, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So this bridge was first called New York and Brooklyn Bridge and then became the East River Bridge until it was officially named Brooklyn Bridge in 1915. So the total length of bridge and approaches is 6,016 feet. The main span is 1,595.5 feet and the clearance at the center is 135 feet. So the Brooklyn Bridge was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1964 and a National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark in 1972. The bridge and multiple Manhattan and Brooklyn lots comprising the approaches were designated as NYC landmarks in 1967. And in recent decades, the structure has been refurbished to handle the traffic demands during its second century. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know the five movies which the Brooklyn Bridge was featured in as well. I'm a big movie fan, so I'll be able to pick up on what and what it is. Uh, I like adventure and thriller, and there are a few adventure movies which the Brooklyn Bridge was featured in. So I'll be looking out for the comments and uh, comments on what you think of the bridge as well so that's one um, next I will be putting out a few other uh, New York videos coming up there is Statue of Liberty I did that one that was an amazing one I really had fun going there uh, although we had to line up in the line and stuff but it was an, an adventure it was an experience I enjoyed it we have the Woodbury Mall to put up as well um, that is upstate that is very much like the premium outlets in Orlando I showed you a video like that last year or I think it was the year before yeah we went there 
and there you can find all the brands you like and um, during summer they would have um, markdowns and so discounts so if you want uh, value for money that's where you gotta go so I'll show you that video as well and what else am I missing um, there's a few others so I will be putting them out very soon so look out for those and like I said share and comment and like that's the important part as well as soon as you open my videos just click on that like button and then you can continue watching it really helps the, to push the video as well so again thank you so much guys you I really appreciate all of you and um, I oh I forgot to mention that I really uh, I, I was very surprised to see how many subscribers I met on my trip thank you so much guys for calling out to me and um, it was really appreciative seeing you and getting to know you face face to face you know but you guys are awesome and thank you for watching and sharing my videos so let's continue So here I'm trying to give you a 360 view. It's such a pity I don't have my drone with me. There are certain places in New York City you cannot fly your drone. And this would have been amazing to see. Anyhow, I'm trying to do it with my camera here. But it, there were so many tourists coming from Manhattan side to get across the bridge. Uh, lots more from when we were crossing from Brooklyn side. Manhattan, Manhattan Bridge across there and over this side is Brooklyn, that side is Brooklyn there the, um, the Statue of Liberty is on that corner there
So we're almost at the end of the bridge here and we're going to walk to the subway station and then we're going to take the train to get all the way home. guys we're off of the Brooklyn Bridge and now we're going to catch the train to get back to Flatlands Brooklyn So we've actually entered Manhattan here and there are lots of big buildings around universities as well. There's City Hall right around the corner. I'm going to get around that side too so you'll see. But this is a lot of traffic here one side and then traffic as in foot traffic on the other side. Trade Center building with that little point at the top there, that little antenna thingy at the top. And that's Pace University, this building right to the front.
So that's New York City Hall you're looking at there. New York City Hall. Pace University over there. It's quite a big building because it extends all the way there. So guys it was fun taking you across the brooklyn bridge hope you were entertained don't forget to subscribe like and share and comment below and put this on your bucket list whenever you go to new york city it's it's a must and it's free so this is it thank you so much for watching again take care and i will see you in the next one bye bye